You do your business, flush the toilet, and in theory give your hands a good wash. The problem is too many people are taking shortcuts. Research in hospital toilets has shown just what's being splattered around, including faecal matter and dangerous bacteria. People just sort of think, well, you just dry your hands, it's end of story. But actually that's not the case. Most of us wash our hands not perfectly, the bugs are still there. So when you dry them in the, in the jet air dryer, the droplets are splattered into the environment, onto the machine, onto the floor, onto you, into the air. But paper towels are said to absorb the water and microbes instead. And the study carried out in three hospitals revealed that bacterial contamination was significantly higher on the days hand dryers were used instead of the disposable tissue. We may not be in a laboratory, but by doing a simple experiment using this bulb and some liquid which glows, we should be able to see just how far germs can potentially spread. And you can see just how far along the wall it's spread. Pretty unsurprisingly, it's also dripped down the side of the dryer, but also onto my handbag. It's not good if those splashes are contaminated by microbes. Some of the germs that could be passed around include E. coli, and there are different strains of E. coli. Some are classified as toxigenic. And if someone was to ingest those, then it could lead to a rapidly deteriorating situation that could even cause a fatality. I think it should take about 20 to 30 seconds to wash your hands. Hand dryer manufacturers point out the problem is in the washing, not the drying of the hands, and that the research has been funded by the paper towel industry. There's also the fact that used tissue needs to be disposed of. It doesn't help that we're all in such a rush. So you wash your hands and then stick them under the dryer quickly and then actually take them away before they're dried properly because actually, you know, it's a bit of a bore standing there until they're properly dried and then you kind of rub them on your jeans. The problem is you can't see what lurks within the droplets of water. Only by washing thoroughly every time will germs be stopped in their tracks. Emma Birchley, Sky News.